Among those hitting the pavement on Sunday morning is a man who overcame just so much to take part in this. Kenny Rodriguez has his story. At just 17 years old, Kassan Hussein survived a suicide bombing in his home country of Iraq. The explosion caused him to lose his sight, then he faced years of depression. Today, he's making strides towards a better life. I feel free, like I feel like freedom. Uh, you know, I, I, I earn back my, like, who I am uh, when I'm running. The 33-year-old decided he would run the Austin Half Marathon, but he would need some help. This way? Okay. At first, Burke Berard was hesitant. It was really intimidating starting off guiding someone. It was the first time I've ever guided a visually impaired runner, and it would have been a lot easier just to say, like, no, I can't do that. I'm not good yeah. enough. I'm not fast enough. He's probably faster than me. But ultimately, big step. she decided to give it a shot. Seeing Kusai's story, it just... How can you say no? They've been training together for the last seven months. Now they're ready to take on the challenge, Hassan's first ever half marathon. Yeah, exciting. It's a race he hopes will inspire others. I really thank the team because they have open-minded and they have, they believed in me, I'm going to do it. And that's what gets me to the Austin Half Marathon. So the pair is going to take on the half marathon this Sunday. Brooke said she was not going to let the height difference of about a foot stop her from running alongside Cusay. What an inspiring story. Beautiful. She's right. It would be so easy to say no. Like, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. But wasn't about her. Incredible. Yeah, both of them. Like, applause to them because that is an incredible story. Let's get to your...